hi guys uh, this video will be uh, looking at some of the concepts and some uh, we'll look at few problems on electrostatic instruments so first uh, let's look at this question it's a very simple question uh, so let's read the question first an electrostatic instrument has an initial capacitance of 12 picofarad at 0 volt so it is given that it has a initial capacitance of 12 picofarads uh, so C at 0 volts is given as 12 picofarads I hope you know what is pico pico is 10 to the power minus 10 to the power minus 12 if the instrument has a full scale deflection of 90 degrees at 1800 uh, volts so the full scale deflection is also given the full scale deflection is 90 degrees at 1800 volt so this is the full scale deflection which means the deflection and the maximum reading that you can take using this instrument and the torsion constant of the spring that provides the controlling torque is given as 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 newton meter per radians so your spring constant k is also given k is 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 newton meter per radians find the capacitance when the pointer indicates 1800 volts okay so uh, the capacitance at 0 volts is given you need to find the capacitance at 1800 volts so I hope uh, we all know that this uh, instrument has parallel plates so let's say if uh, one of the plate is like this and uh, the other plate let's use a different color let's say this is how the moving plate is right so in attraction type instrument electrostatic instrument the plate will move towards this direction as the deflection increases and therefore what happens the area the overlapping area increases and therefore the capacitance also will change so basically the uh, what uh, we are asked is that we need to find what is the capacitance at 1800 volts so first let's see how we can do this question uh, now we know that uh, theta the deflection is equal to half uh, v square by k into dc by d theta yeah so from here in this uh, equation in this uh, formula this is by this is the equilibrium state where we equate the controlling torque is equal to the deflecting torque and we get this expression theta is equal to 1 by 2 v square by k dc by d theta from here we can find what is dc by d theta the change in capacitance with angle theta and then if you multiply that with the amount of angle that is uh, th that is different or uh, how much difference in angle that we are getting we can find what is the change in capacitance corresponding to the theta so let's let's first find what is dc by d theta from this equation because i think all the other expressions uh, all the other quantities we know so let's take theta at 90 degrees so which is the full scale deflection theta at 90 degrees which is pi by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 into uh, v square 1800 volt the full scale deflection is given as 1800 volts uh, square divided by 3 into k k is 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 into dc by d theta from here we can write what is dc by d theta dc by d theta is equal to on the left hand side you have pi by 2 so pi by 2 now there is a 1 by 2 here which comes to the top 
into 2 into 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 divided by 1800 whole square now uh, when we calculate this these two values get cancelled 3 into 3.4 divided by 18 square which is uh, 324 into 10 power 4 mm, that will come out as 10 to the power minus 12 farads per radian so this will be the final value that you will get while calculating this quantity now this is the change in capacitance per radian right so for change uh, for that uh, we already know the uh, capacitance at 0 volt is 12 picofarads and now let's find what is the change in capacitance from 0 to pi by 2 which is the full scale deflection 90 degrees is the full scale deflection so let's find what is the change in uh, capacitance from 0 to pi by 2 which is which will be equal to dc by d theta into pi by 2 so that will be equal to 2.9 into 10 to the power minus 12 into pi by 2 pi is 3.14 and we substitute this value we'll get the value as 4.553 picofarads so that is a change from 0 to pi by 2 the capacity the change in the capacitance so the total capacitance at uh, capacitance at pi by 2 will be the capacitance at 0 volt or capacitance at pi by 2 is, al is also equal to the capacitance at a reading of 1800 volts uh, will be equal to the capacitance at 0 volts plus the change in capacitance so we can add these two quantities which is 12 plus 4.553 picofarads which will be 16. Point 553 five, picofarads right so this will be the final answer that we will get for the capacitance at 1800 volts so that was the question first question now let's look at some other types of questions okay quarter of a circle capacitor now let's see uh, what is this quarter of a circle capacitor Quarter of a circle means, uh, I hope you know what is quarter of a circle. Uh, this is a circle and quarter means, so this is one quarter, right? This is one quarter. So here uh, what we are going to look is that what is the capacitance offered or the change in capacitance offered by a quarter of a circle capacitor which is used for uh, the electrostatic uh, electrostatic voltmeter so electrostatic voltmeter let's say uh, has a fixed plate and a moving plate so let's say this is our fixed plate and let's say this is our so this is our moving plate uh, what we are going to assume is that at uh, 0 volts 
let's say there is no overlapping at zero volt there is no overlapping or uh, or we let we, or when the uh, measured quantity is at zero volt let's say the theta theta is also zero and the theta of overlapping is also zero that is what we are going to assume now we know uh, what is the plate area so the plate area is going to be the total plate area is quarter of a circle so that is going to be uh, pi by pi, uh, pi r square by 4 which will be the total plate area because it is pi r square is the area of a complete circle and let's say pi r square by 4 is the area of a quarter of a circle so now let's say at at, at certain voltage at some voltage let's say you have uh, at some voltage you have uh, overlapping of theta degrees right so theta degrees in the sense this let's say this is the moving plate moving and this is the fixed plate so at some uh, when the voltage is applied what happens these gets at attracted to each other and the moving plate would come towards this fixed plate and it will start overlapping with the fixed plate so let's say at at some voltage uh, at some voltage uh, there is a particular angle theta which is overlapping this is the angle theta that is overlapping the both the plates so uh, so this is the total area of this is the total area of a quarter plate quarter circle plate right now but uh, the total the area of overlapping would be different from this value so let's look at what would be the area of overlapping which is this area so area of overlapping would be equal to let's first take the total area pi r square by 4 into uh, when the plates are completely overlapping the area would be I mean the angle would be pi by 2 because it's a quarter circle and this entire angle is 90 degrees so the total area when the entire circle entire uh, same, uh, quarter circle is overlapping the fixed quarter circle the entire uh, angle would be pi by 2 and if we divide the theta with this pi by 2 you will get what portion of this quarter circle is being uh, overlapping the fixed coil fixed plate the moving plate how much is the moving plate overlapping the fixed plate so what we do is that we'll take theta theta is the angle uh, of overlapping and we'll divide it with pi by 2 pi by 2 which means is the uh, is the angle is the uh, maximum uh, angle that it can overlap right so if you divide these two quantities you will get this area of overlapping as you can cancel this pi and pi 2 and 4 and then you will get it as theta r square by 2 right now this is the area of overlapping which is theta r square by 2 now this is a uh, this is for uh, this particular condition uh, but uh, turns out that this formula this formula is a general equation theta r square by 2 is the general equation for area of overlapping in any case now we'll see why this is the general condition now uh, 
we know what is the area of a circle right area of a circle is area of a circle is pi r square now where does this pi come from pi is nothing but uh, what is the total angle of a circle when we look at a circle uh, the, let's say this is the center so the total angle is 2 pi right so we'll get actually as 2 pi r square divided by 2 is basically the area of a circle similarly uh, if you want to find a portion of a circle right if you want to find a portion of a circle what you can do is that you can use the same formula uh, which is let's say this is the theta n crossed so that becomes theta r square divided by 2 2 pi r square divided by 2 and theta r square divided by 2 which is the same formula that you get over here so area of of a part of a circle so i hope this is clear and now let's find what will be the uh, capacitance capacitance of uh, this quarter of a circle let's write it side by side so c is given by epsilon uh, a by d a by d or a by l or whatever you want to take it now a we know as uh, theta r square by 2 so that is c into theta r square by 2d will be the capacitance and if you want to find what is uh, dc by d theta dc by d theta we will differentiate the expression with respect to theta you will get it as uh, this is epsilon r square theta by 2d epsilon r square into 2d d theta by d theta gets cancelled so you will get it as dc by d theta is equal to epsilon r square by 2d uh, when you differentiate this expression with respect to theta now let's look at one more question so this is the last question that we'll be looking at uh, let's read the question first uh, an electrostatic instrument has a full scale deflection of 100 degrees at uh, 8 kilo volts so it's given that on the full scale deflection is 100 degrees and which is at 8 uh, which is at 8 kilo volts right so FSD is equal to 100 degrees at 8 kilo volts if the instrument is constructed with five parallel fixed plates equi spaced at four millimeter intervals which means that there are five parallel semicircular semicircular means previously we were looking at quarter circle semicircle means this is a semicircle right so there are five parallel semicircular fixed plates so there are five parallel semicircular one two three four five yeah semicircular fixed plate which is equispaced at four millimeters which means that this length is given as four millimeters and four interleaved semicircular moving movable plates that move in planes midway between the fixed plates in air so there are four semicircular interleaved plates right yeah 
that move midway between the fixed plates in air controlling torque is provided by the spring find the spring constant okay we need to find what is the spring constant what is the spring constant if the radius of the movable plate is the radius of movable plate is given as 20 into 10 power minus 3 meters 20 millimeters which is 20 into 10 power minus 3 meters the full scale deflection is given uh, k is what we have to find out uh, the distance between the plates is also given uh, yeah let's let's look at what is the what would be the equation over here right uh, Yeah, I think that is that is more than enough uh, to find uh, the spring constant k. So uh, here we have plates. Previously we had parallel plates, but here if you see, let's say this fixed plate is connected to one polarity, and uh, let's say the other movable plate is connected to another polarity. What happens? There is plus 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 minus 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 again minus 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 there is plus so what happens over here is that the capacitance would be double of the normal capacitance because there are two uh, plates that is coming up for a single moving plate or you can say there are two uh, regions where the capacitance is being formed or the charge is being formed uh, one on the upper side on the, the other on the lower side so so here the capacitance formula would change c would be equal to 2 into epsilon uh, a by d previously it was epsilon a by d but here this would turn out as 2 into epsilon a by d now uh, for area we had already derived uh, equation so that for area it comes out as the overlapping area the overlapping area a is given as theta r square by 2 so where theta is the angle of overlapping theta is the angle of overlapping and uh, let's let's substitute this value into this uh, equation so we will get it as the C is equal to 2 epsilon by D into theta r square by 2 2 and 2 gets cancelled we will get it as epsilon r square by D into theta right now what would be DC by D theta DC by D theta will be turn, will turn out as epsilon r square by d when we differentiate this expression with respect to theta you'll get it as epsilon r square by d now uh, let's see what is the uh, deflecting torque and we'll equate it with the uh, controlling torque so the controlling torque is given by k theta is also will be equal to the deflecting torque at equilibrium which is equal to now since there are uh, four movable plates the deflecting torque uh, the deflecting torque would change into four times the uh, so since there are four plates the deflecting torque uh, generated by one plate should be multiplied by four times in order to get the total torque because there are four plates previously we were looking at just a parallel plate where there was only one there was only one moving movable plate but here there are four movable plates so the torque will act on all the four plates so we'll have to multiply the torque value that is that is obtained from one plate into four times so let's call this as n which is four into uh, one by two uh, v square dc by d theta so this will come out as 
uh, now let's take theta as uh, 100 degrees because we already know what is the voltage at 100 degrees so let's take it as 100 degrees so k into 100 degrees uh, will be equal to n which is 4 divided by 2 into v square is uh, v square is equal to 8 kilovolts so that is 8 into 10 power 3 the whole square right into um, you have epsilon r square by d right epsilon r square by d I will substitute all these values so this uh, 2 and 2 gets cancelled 4 gets cancelled you get 2 left so k is equal to 2 into now 8 square is 64 64 into 10 to the power 6 into epsilon is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 sorry Ten to the power minus twelve, and then R radius. Radius of the moving plate uh, is given as twenty millimeters. So that is twenty into ten to the power minus three. The whole square R square becomes twenty into ten to the power minus three whole square divided by this hundred degrees comes down hundred into uh, the distance between two plates so this is four millimeters over here between two fixed plates so this is at midway which means that this would be come out as two millimeters so two into ten power minus three right so let's uh, cancel out all these uh, hundred and ten power minus three will become ten power minus one and then uh, this 2 and 2 can get cancelled now 64 into 8.85 into uh, 20 would come out as uh, and these uh, powers of 10 if we take it into consideration will it will all come out as 2.265 into 10 to the power minus 6 Newton meter per degree. So this is this is in degrees, not in radians. So this will be the final spring constant. That value, value of the final spring constant that you'll get from this uh, question. I hope this is clear. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, guys.